Hello, my fellow adventurers. This is Maluncha, and welcome back to New World. Today, we are gonna do something that we have been postponing for a very long time. I never really thought that this would actually happen, but we are switching to Syndicate to actually go on the Syndicate missions. I want to get every achievement in the game. And if I look at what was it, journal, character, achievements, we are in a situation now where I was like, I'm going to need to get this over with so I can actually eventually switch back to Marauders. That is still my, uh, my train of thought. But uh, yeah, yesterday the company kind of uh, decided to uh, disband, although they're not disband yet. Uh, some were going to other companies because they wanted to focus more on the PvP aspect. Some were uh, trying to just play the game and we decided, uh, well, it maybe it's time to actually all go our own way. So now I find myself, uh, well, basically without a company. And that means I have time. And to change, I'm not really sure, modes, character, how, how did it bio? So change faction here. I do have a thousand four hundred faction tokens, but I came from forty four thousand or something. Like I bought everything that I could, and I'm not really uh, well too worried about losing uh, these amount of faction tokens. I can get them back pretty easily with one invasion. So change faction, and the only one we can is Syndicate because Covenant right now is in the biggest advantage so clever disciples who fight with cunning for the sake of truth and a progress the pursuit of knowledge and insight at any cost change faction 150 once it's changed you won't be able to change your faction again for 60 days so apparently we're gonna be stuck in a syndicate for two months which is better than it was before because uh, it started out with uh, four months i think 120 days before you can actually switch uh, 60 days, yeah, still two months that we're kind of stuck before we can uh, change back to Marauders. But I, I, I just, I just want to do it. There we go. We already got our. So we joined all three factions. Let's claim it. Nice. And then uh, let's now start. Now that you are one of us, you will have access to vast knowledge in time. But first, I have a challenge for you. Well, I'm up for a challenge. We will see, won't we? You have joined the Syndicate because you do not wish to spend eternity wallowing in ignorance. The Holy only crap. question that remains is whether you have the stomach for it. The stomach for what? The truth, of course, and the price it demands. One of our number failed in Dayspring Mills, and many research notes were lost. Recover them, and we will talk. I'll accept this quest, and yeah, the first uh, quests of this quest chain is gonna be really, really in. Uh, it's really gonna be easy. Uh, so first off, we are gonna need to move towards Dayspring Mills. Her face took on a ghostly pallor as the miller told his tale. So what are we gonna need to do here? Search chests for abandoned research note in Dayspring Mills. Yeah, level eight mobs. <laughs> it's actually. Like it's, uh, it's pretty ridiculous that I'm doing these quests right now. Uh, but I, like I said, the inner, the inner uh, achiever in me, I guess you could say, I really just wanted to get these, uh, these quests done. There we go. Last chests. And let's head back to Ursula Long. You've got the notes. Let's see them. Yes. Yes. Using these, we can recreate our experiments. Uh, what kind of experiment? What what type of faction did I join? Doing experiments? Oh, you will learn soon enough. Oh, and then all secretive. Yes, I believe you will be a fine addition to our circle. <laughs> did I join a witch covenant or something like that? Doing experiments, calling themselves a circle. Oh, okay, let's uh, complete the quest. I what greet you get? in wisdom and mutual respect, fellow scholar. All right, so two invasions, uh, one invasion and two outposts rushes later. And it says I am at my cap, meaning I should have a new quest, right? Let's quickly loads, please. 
<laughs> there we go. And travel to Brightwood. Oh, look at that. I am at Brightwood. How the hell did that happen? And complete the trial of the Scrivener. Recommended level 25. I think I'm a little overcapped with... Ah, fellow ponderer of perpetual mysteries. And an accomplished one at that. Yes, I know about you, Meluncha. You are here to face the trial of advancement to the rank of Scrivener. I still don't know. Scrivener? Scrivener? <laughs> I am. What must I do? You have arrived at the perfect moment. For I am ready to test my new psychokinetic absorber. Did you know that some of the lost still have traces of their souls? Are you sure about that? Yes. We just need a fresh loss to prove it. Find Geist Melikor. He was quite formidable in life. So be careful. Use a, psycho a psychokinetic absorber and strike down Melikor. You'll see. Okay, let's accept the quest. Where do we need to be? One point. It's it's quest two, right? Yeah. <laughs> one point one kilometers away, and it is at the Walsham Field. Is that him? Geist Melikor. Yeah, that is him. That we're gonna need to beat. Should be a rather quick fight. There we go. <laughs> and what do I do now? Okay, place the trace absorber. That is gonna absorb his soul. I think. Eliminate gap. Oh, seriously? Okay, so you do not want to beat him until you place this. Uh... It's a ghost trap. Holy crap. We're in Ghostbusters! <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna need to wait till this dude actually spawns again. Yeah, that took only one minute. Let's make sure he's close enough. Get some a little closer, please. He's just gonna stay at that location. Come on, dude. Does it matter? Collect the psychonetic absorber. Okay, so let's go full traces, trace absorber. Okay. Holy crap! It it really does look like a machine from Ghostbusters. At last! Yes, yes, you see. There are traces of Malakor's soul in here. This changes everything. You have done well, and I'm pleased to promote you to Scrivener. Yes, yes, now I must work. Mark my words. Complete this quest, achievement unlocked, of course. And earn faction reputations to face the trial for your next Mark rank. My and words. my next rank is at 11,000 reputation. We are at 3,000, meaning I would need to win 9. Nine OPRs, I think. Enough reputation gathered. Time to move on to the next quest. Syndicate Advancement Chronicler. Chronicler? Okay. In Weaver's Fen. Some find the smell of the swamp offensive, but I find it quite delightful. Ah, but it's you. Scrivener Maluncia. And you are prepared to advance in rank as well. Yes. Will you administer my trial? Indeed. Alchemist Crooks had wanted to be here for this, but I see no reason for delay. Gather me specimens from various lost here in the fen, and I'll promote you to Chronicler. Okay, let's uh, accept and see where we need to go. And we need to go to the Swamp Water Fishery. It seems we are gonna need to collect a lost flesh from Swamp Water Lost. And again, we are rather overpowered for this, so it should be pretty fast. And done! And then it seems we are gonna need to go to a second position. And that is where? To the Angler's Doom. Seems we're gonna need to collect some bones here from the lost. Remember, 
this place more vividly than the others. No, don't run over it. Grab it. Down you go. And we've got one more place to travel to. Fenton Hamlet. And that is... Yeah, of course. Could they just make one, two, three? No, they make us go there, there, and then all the way back. Lag detected. I know there's gonna be an update. But it's not now, right? <laughs> Disconnected from server. Hmm, let's see what's going on. And we are back, finally. <laughs> so here in Fenton, we needed to collect 10 lost hairs from Fenton Lost, which I did. And yeah, by this time, uh, there was another update where we had to uh, gather rabbits and such. And basically, my router decided to close down. So yeah, two days later, we can finally, three days later, we can finally resume our quest. And yeah, by now, our faction tokens are overrunning. So I definitely need to uh, advance in this quest before I can do any more OPRs. So quest done, meaning we can head back to Weaver's Fen. Really? You got all the specimens? And rather quickly too, I think. Perhaps this will aid in my research to the same extent your previous work helped Crocus. That would be a boon. Well, I hope it does. It's probably folly for me to aspire to follow in Croak's footsteps. But we'll see. Either way, you have earned your new rank. Congratulations, Chronicler Maluncia. Alright, last outpost rush I needed to get my reputation up to rank. And if everything is good, we should be in Morningdale. I think. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Next to the NPC that we actually needed. Alchemist Crawford for the Syndicate Advancement Cabalists. Morningdale can be a dour place, but there is opportunity here for the Inquisitive. Like you, Maluncia, your work with Crocus is quite famous. And now you are ready to advance in rank once again? Yes. What is the trial? For you, we have arranged for an extension of your previous work with Soul Traces. Okay. You have used the Psychokinetic Absorber before. You practically made them famous. And what of Crocus? Crocus is too busy and will come soon, but I'm thrilled to have you. Yeah, she does sound excited. We need to place a Psychokinetic Absorbers at strategic points around Morningdale. It will be difficult, but such is the price of science. Alright, let's accept the quest and see what we actually need to do. Holy crap! The Presage Spear, the Cutthroat Creeds North and South, the Colso Nuance North and South, and the Sorrow Slit Ridge is where we all need to place Psychokinetic Absorbers in. So let's go out and quickly zoom on out where we actually need to be so sorrow silt rich we need to be at the cutthroat creeds on the side here the presage pier and then pueblo culto what is it nuez let's phrase this uh trace of places trace absorber and we don't need to kill anyone just need to place them Okay, that makes it a little bit easier. Next place is here at Presage Pier. It's uh, almost to the end. We had to clear out uh, like two enemies to actually get here. So next location is going to be me following the shoreline and heading to Cutthroat's Creed. Now we have one more place to actually go to. That is all the way here at Sorrow Slit Ridge. Ah, uh, the Memories Rabbit Road. This definitely was one of the best spots to farm for uh, for this event though. Like 30, 31, 30 plus rabbits. 
and uh really nicely as you can see now one two three four five six seven eight nine that we can already see here like ten like there's just so many rabbits on this world and nobody was farming here that was the best thing out of the entire farm nobody but i'm really nobody why the hell do i throw that spell over the over the creature weird now, like I said, nobody was farming here. That really was the best uh, part of it. Anyway, we are done. Perfect. Perfect. You have accomplished quite a feat, and I suspect there will be quite a yield when Crocus arrives. Yes, you deserve the title of Kabbalist. You are an incredible asset to the syndicate. Well, I'm... Glad to hear it. I predict these psychokinetic trace absorbers will be literally full of traces soon. Or they're probably busted. <laughs> Imagine what we can learn. And yeah, let's open the faction board. Because now we do need... How much uh, do we have? We have 26,000 reputation. We need 49. So we're going to need 23,000 reputation. That's 23 wins in OPR that's 23 invasions that we're gonna need so this is gonna take me a couple days and I definitely wanna well kind of speed this up because I kind of got myself stuck not being able to buy the daily gypsum anymore all right after two days of gruesome OPR where I was basically well 24 7 holy crap it's dark there we go now you can see me so I basically got annihilated 24-7 by the new meta. And the new meta, I mean, is the, well, Blunderbuss and Sword and Shield. Like, it is preposterous how fast you die to that. It is really ridiculous. And there is, like, one player in specific. I think at least in the past two days, he had easy 100 kills that he got on me me alone like an average for him was around 20 to 40 kills that was an average <laughs> like it was insane the amount of kills people are getting with him but yeah we got our reputation up to uh set well we are up to rank enough to actually do the quest and it says we needed to travel to Reekwater and complete the trial of the alchemist recommended level 60 here with duarte santos so let's see what he has to say. Ah. I'm afraid I have some very bad news for you. It would seem Alchemist Crocus became a victim of her own ambition. She has become lost. Oh, we kind of could have felt it. Like every NPC was talking about Croc and Croc and Croc and Croc and Of Crocus, Crocus, Crocus. Yeah, it, was, it, it had to happen, right? So how did it happen? It always does with the undisciplined. Too enamored of her research and her reputation. Crocus was simply not strong-minded enough. Unlike you. You are ready to face your final trial. Are you not? I am. And what must I do? You must learn the final lesson. To clean up the messes you've made. I've made. Crocus is not only lost. He's harnessing soul power. He must be destroyed immediately. Don't fumble right before the finish. Okay, let's uh, accept the quest and see where we actually need to go. So 604 meters. We need to go towards the Moss of Water Borg. Let's try that one more time. Let's pull him away from there. Yes, away. Go, 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 go. go. Touch roll, touch roll, touch roll. Place it. Come on, work. Please miss me. Please miss me. Yes. And we finally can beat him. <laughs> yeah, this was way tougher than it had to be. So heal on him. There we go. Now we can basically just tank and spank. And down you go. And collect the full trace absorber back. I do have to say, I kind of remember these last quests being a little bit... Wait, what? Use Psychic Absorber on Alchemist Crocus in Fisher Glory. Oh, so we need to gonna do this in multiple areas. Okay, so we actually found it. 
is below here um, under the tree stump. Destroy soul trees. Okay. Now we need to collect the psychokinetic absorber. Where is that? Oh. Oh, and now we need to go back to Mosswater Bork to actually go collect it. Okay, that's a rather strange quest. Set something up here. Kill somebody. Then loot some stuff in another location to then go back and actually collect what you set up. If I got that correctly. Okay. It's def definitely a new quest. Like, don't think I've seen one like this in the game before. We good? We good? We can head back. And let's open a chest. Then the deed is done. It is done. Crocket is no Crocus is no more. Well done. The integrity of our research must pres be preserved. You have earned the distinct distinction and rank of alchemist. Congratulations. Now Complete we must the move quest. On to more important questions. How was it that Crocus was able to absorb those soul traces? Did she become lost on purpose? Are those the important questions? Okay. Anyway, this is really good news for me because... Yeah, my faction tokens were kind of running up and... I wasn't really in a state to actually buy something and now I can actually do this. Hell yes. Do this. Hell yes. Nice. Oh, and definitely actually want to pick up this one even even if it if it's just for looks like this one is the cheaper version i think twenty thousand points i actually definitely want to well uh want to pull this one out just for the aesthetics alone i think the plague doctor ropes uh i think the entire set the plague doctor uh sets is kind of something I want to pull out. It's going to require a lot of points, though. 30,000 for the hat. I'm going to buy the hat. I want to see what it looks like. I know a lot of a lot of wasted resources, guys. <laughs> the hat does look amazing. I just wish that armor you have in this game you can actually use it to transmog. Uh, that would be that would be insane. Like a lot of people would use this one as a transmog. This 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 top hat with a bird face looks incredible. It really does. You can make some insane outfits if you could just yeah, like I said, just use the armors that you gathered and just use them as a uh... yeah, definitely cool definitely cool but yeah it's uh yeah it's not really constitution corruption refreshing uh, so uh, no 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 yeah 535 so i can't really do anything with it right all right and that is gonna wrap up this quest guys another faction done let's sit our ass down and now if we look at factions where are they a few details no achievements isn't there like an uh, an achievement that says that you did all the faction territory faction ranking yeah there we go so 15 out of 15 so now we did actually get all the, the quests done and i'm i'm getting i'm getting there i'm slowly getting there uh how much am i at 61%, 492 out of 800. I still have so many, so many to do. Especially like the PvP ones, player versus player. Uh, I didn't do like one PvP at all. Um, so definitely have some work to do. Like I said, I'm going to wrap up this episode here, guys. If you want to see more of my quest progression or my Let's Play here in New World or other games I might play on this channel, just hit that subscribe button. It would always help out a lot. I do hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.